Hey everybody, um, good to talk with you again. Uh, here's a small tale from the Ramayana um, about Hanuman. Hanuman, um, oh, you may know, is the monkey god. Uh, he is the image of the perfect uh, devotee of God, the perfect servant of God. And uh, he is devoted to Rama, uh, Lord Rama, one of the avatars of Vishnu, um, and the, the center of the Ramayana. In any case, uh, the story goes something like this. Uh, after uh, the coronation at Ayodhya, um, uh, Hanuman takes it upon himself to perform all the service to Rama, uh, to the point that uh, his brother Lakshmana and then Bharata and Shatrugna and uh, Sita are all, uh, there's nothing left for them to do. And they all want to uh, take care of, of Rama and to... Um, uh, perform some kind of service uh, to God. Uh, but they're not able to because Hanuman is quicker and faster and stronger and he's running around doing everything for them. And so uh, they go to Rama and say, here, we need to set up a schedule so that we uh, everybody gets a chance. And um, they left Hanuman off the schedule. So uh, this job would go to Lakshmana, this job would go to Sita, this job would go to Shatrugna. Um, and so they got Rama to sign off on this, and it became official. This is sort of the, the schedule for performing service to Lord Rama. So the next day, Hanuman shows up, and uh, he wants to sort of rub the feet of, of Rama for him, uh, give him a little foot rub. And uh, he's told, no, no, you can't do this. This isn't your job. This is Shatrugna's job. Uh, you have to follow the schedule. And he goes, and he looks at the schedule, and he realizes that uh, he's not anywhere on the schedule, but it's official, and Lord Rama, uh, his uh, personal god, has signed off on it, and so there's nothing much to do. And so he thinks in vain for some task that isn't listed anywhere on the schedule, and he thinks, well, whatever that is, I will take that job. And then finally he comes up with one, and that is, is that he will snap his fingers whenever Lord Rama yawns. And this is uh, sort of done to prevent um, uh, evil spirits from coming when you uh, when you yawn, sort of like we say, bless you when um, somebody sneezes, that kind of thing. Anyways, uh, what this means is basically that, that Hanuman has to be constantly in the presence of Lord Rama, ready uh, at an instant to snap his fingers whenever Lord Rama uh, uh, starts to yawn. And so he's doing this, and everybody is sort of nonplussed again. Once again, Hanuman has put himself at the forefront. And uh, it all comes to a head uh, that evening when uh, it's time for bed, and Lord Rama is going to bed. And Sita, his wife, uh, basically tells Hanuman, no, you cannot come into the bedroom. This is my domain. Um, and Hanuman sort of says, well, listen, I mean, he's going to sleep. This is what I need to you know, be really aware and on it with the, with the finger snapping. And, um, but she won't allow it. So he goes and sits out on the balcony. And just uh, because he can't see what's inside, he keeps snapping his finger. He keeps snapping his finger like this. And what happens is, is that Rama uh, is constantly yawning until his mouth falls open in a monster yawn and he falls back in the chair simply exhausted with his mouth open in this constant yawn while Hanuman is snapping his fingers. Finally, the sage Vasishta realizes what's going on and he goes to uh, Hanuman and says, you have to stop snapping your finger. God is incapable of not receiving the devotion of those who love him and serve him. And so Hanuman stops and Rama is able to stop yawning. Hope you enjoyed the story. Just a little one this week. Um, hope you're well, and we'll see you on Saturday.